Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about percent of change. We're going to find each percent change in this percent and say if it increase or decrease. So if I was given this problem from 309 grams to 299 grams. So 309 grams to 299 grams. Well, first we're going to see is this an increase or decrease, and we're going down. So it's a decrease. So I'm going to write it right here. Write it right there. So let's go find the difference between the two. 309 minus 299. Uh, oh my gosh, I, wrote, I almost wrote 209. So 299. Yeah, it looks a little different there. It's okay. 9 minus 9 is a 0. 0 minus 9. Oh, I can't do that. So the 3 becomes a 2. Make that a 10. 10 minus 9 is the easiest of 1. And 2 minus 2 is 0. And and it's just 10 gram decrease here, and you probably could have seen that from the beginning, but it's all good. So we have 10 here, we take that 10 and we divide it by our first number, 309. So 10 divided by 309, well 10 divided by 309, let's use our calculator here. It's going to be a small little percent, but 10 divided by 309. And we're left with approximately a decimal of 0 0.03236. Okay. Well, that I need to convert right, to a percent. The decimal need to convert it to a percent, so we take that decimal and we move it over two units, one, two. So now we have 3.236. Well, 3.236%, I can round to the nearest percent because they asked us to. Well, that 0.2 causes a 3 to round down, so we're left with just a 3% decrease as our final answer. So let's recap here. We started with 309 grams to 299 grams. And so we knew that was a decrease, so we put it right there. We stated it right there. I always like to write it out so I don't forget later. It's a decrease. We then found the difference between the two numbers. The difference came out to be 10. We took that 10 and divided it by our first number, 309, to get an approximate decimal of 0 0.03236. That decimal needs to move two units to the right, one, two. Uh, to get 3.236, a percent, that's how we convert the decimal to a percent. But now we need to round it, because they say round to the nearest percent, right? The nearest percent. Well, that 0.2, that 2 right there, that causes the 3 to move up or down. Since it's uh, 4 and less, we make that uh, round down, so it stays to be a 3. So we have a final answer here of a 3% decrease.